Okay. Thank you for that. So what you need to do to activate the rotors is both control sticks to the bottom left, a little bit of throttle, and as you're throttling up, you need to be controlling the, the pitch and roll. It has a tendency when it takes off to fling itself to the side. So if you don't, if you don't manage to um, control that with the pitch, you might possibly catch a rotor. Once it's up and stable, as you can see, I've not been any inputs in at all, and it's hovering very nicely. I'm gonna go forward, we roll forward. I'm gonna go backwards, we roll backwards. It'll drift about with the wind a little bit, but it will stabilize itself. Roll goes left and right, and then yaw spins it around. Come back down just very gently on the throttle, and then shut down. Uh, to turn everything off, it's just the reverse of turn it on. So pull the plug on the uh, quadcopter, then on the screen, then turn the remote off.